Hi Virgo, this reading is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual. In the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with uh, someone else in the second spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Virgo, let's see what the person you are in love with or have a crush on thinks about you or what's going on with them. We have uh, the Two of Swords clarified by the Lovers. We have the Two of Wands. Then we have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And we also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with pretty much any Zodiac sign. We've got every single element on the table. We've got Swords, Wands, Pentacles and Cups. But um, since we got the Ace of Swords, it could be an Air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. But again, any Zodiac sign. Right? We've got three cards on the table that usually symbolize a choice or a decision that has to be made, right? The Two of Swords, the first card I came out is a card of a cross swords, which uh, essentially means a choice. The Lovers, clarifying the Two of Swords, could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but it's also a choice card. The Two of Wands right next to the uh, Two of Swords, you've guessed it, it is also a choice card. So yeah, I think this person's got some kind of a choice or a decision to make. If um, your birthday, Virgo, is still coming up, by the way, happy birthday. <laughs> Um, then they could be thinking about what uh, to give you for your birthday or um, you know how to approach you and perhaps if that's the case then uh, they're gonna use that as an excuse as a reason to get the show on the road with you right if it's not your birthday um, th that is still coming up then they could be thinking of another way of the best way to uh, approach you or to invite you somewhere, right? The Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a celebration. It really is. One of the interpretations of the Three of Cups is a celebration. So again, if your birthday is still coming up, you'll, coming up, you'll definitely be hearing from this person on your birthday. If it's not, then the Three of Cups could be a concert, a show, um, or some other event gathering of some sort, you know, a concert, and they, they could be, you know, buying tickets to that show or event or a gathering or a concert and then uh, what they're doing right now is uh, they're choosing that concert <laughs> or a show. <laughs> uh, either way here they come with the Ace of Swords clarified by the Page of Pentacles and uh, the Six of Wands. The Page of Pentacles could be something tangible, something you can touch. So again it could be a present for your birthday or it could be those tickets to a show or something. It, could, it, could, it will be very symbolic because the thing about the Page of Pentacles to me personally this is the most serious page out of all four pages. I don't mean to insult the other three pages, but the Page of Pentacles usually is talking about somebody who is testing the waters, but they're serious, right? They're not just way, they're not just, you know, saying something like, oh, let's just play it by ear and see what happens. No, with the Page of Pentacles, this person knows what they want, right? And that both the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands surrounding that Page of Pentacles are kind of confirmation. Those are very decisive energies, right? The Ace of Swords as the answer yes, the Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct conversation. It's a card of clarity and it's also a card of a brand new beginning. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success, attention. So you definitely will have this person's full and undivided attention. So they're coming in uh, with the intention to win you over and they're going to be very honest, very straightforward about it. Right? Uh, but it, as of right now, this person is choosing something or trying to make a decision. I don't think they're choosing between you and another person. No. Like I said, it's either a present or tickets or the best way to get the show on the road with you. Just so you understand they're serious about you. Alright? So yeah, you'll be hearing from this person soon. <laughs> Alright? Let's take a look at the uh, potential spread between you and this person. All right, Virgo, so here's the potential between you and uh, the person we saw in the previous spread. We have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Magician. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Emperor. We also have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or an Aries, or any Zodiac sign. Well, the potential is definitely there, <laughs> Virgo. It is definitely there. All right, we got uh, the uh, Knight of Swords, the first card that came out. It could be an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with, but it's kind of symbolic that we got the Knight of Swords in the spread. You see how that Knight of Swords, yes, the card is partially blocked, but you can still see 
how that knight is holding up a sword. That's exactly the sword we seen we saw in the Ace of Swords in the first spread. That's that ace. This is that decision to move forward. This is a decision to invite you or to go to come to you and uh, wish you a happy birthday. Basically, to get the show on the road, right? Then it's a very decisive energy. It's the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights. So once they've uh, once time comes, they're going to make a very decisive move towards you, right? Uh, the Knight of Swords is classified by the Magician, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but the Magician is a card of manifestation and it's, most importantly, it's a card of taking action. And that's what the Knight of Swords is also all about, taking action. The Magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal and they're using those tools. And that again translates into taking action, but perhaps this person's got a whole bunch of things lined up, right? They've got a plan A, plan B, they've got a restaurant they want to take you to. They will finally decide on that birthday present if uh, they're coming to you uh, on your birthday. And uh, they may even do other things for you, right? Um, and uh, after th after that, um, you know, the rest is history. <laughs> okay? So the next card I came out is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is all about love, genuine, authentic love. As a matter of fact, the remaining cards after that Knight of Swords, before I started clarifying, were all cups. All emotions, all love. So yes, the Ace of Cups is all about that genuine, authentic love. The Emperor clarifying the um, Ace of Cups could be an Aries you're dealing with. But the thing about the Emperor, the Emperor is somebody who is large and in charge, somebody who definitely knows what he or she wants. Um, the Emperor could be somebody who is very established individual, you know, somebody with a career, or somebody who is a business owner, somebody who is a boss. And most importantly, the, uh, the Emperor sometimes comes through as a husband or a significant other figure. Right? So the Emperor is above all kings. Virgo, it really is, right? Somebody who's got their crap together. <laughs> We've got the Ten of Cups right next to the deck. Uh, the Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. It's a family card, so if having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together. It's one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages, right? And uh, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck, uh, and the Third Cups card, is a card of a wish come true or a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So I think, I, or I hope that's mutual, right? Because I definitely see you being their wish come true. And since I don't see any resistant cards or anybody dragging their feet cards, anybody taking time to think about it cards, I think you're going to be, you know, you know, satisfied with the, the way this person is. Because this person, like I said, is not going to be playing around or fooling around. They know what they want. And uh, what they want is a commitment, and most importantly, they want a commitment with uh, you, Virgo. <laughs> All right, this is a, a potential outcome spread, but these are some serious cards, you know. These are some serious cards, with the, especially with that Emperor, uh, the Ten of Cups, the Magician. Yeah, you've got, a, you've got all the ingredients for a, a loving, successful, amazing uh, commitment or marriage with this person. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Virgo, for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing birthday season and an amazing month.